Hey guys, Sohini here. So today we're going to be making the Peruvian fish soup. And it's ridiculously good and super easy to make. And it's a complete meal. You have your starches, your energy, your protein, your strength. And you have your fresh herbs. Of course, this is cilantro. Excellent tip of the day is many people are throwing a lot of their herbs away because they put them in the refrigerator this is a beautiful trick and it's pretty because it's a bouquet of nature so what i do is put some filtered water in a, in a vase and i have it out and it facilitates using it as well so if i want to garnish something hey it's right there i pluck it and put it in my dish so it's a lot easier so I'm going to be actually chopping this up finely and putting half in the soup and half to garnish so it's raw. Okay, so let's get started. We have, I already cut this up, this is two stalks of celery, two onion that are small, moly get down, come on. Two um, small onions that are chopped finely. See, I'm making fish and she's smelling it, okay? Um, and then I have one red. No, get down. Sometimes it's not easy doing these videos because sometimes it takes a little bit because I'm not always nice to these cats that bug you sometimes. So, um, one red pepper. And I say, no, Molly, get down. Um, I save a little of the red pepper to garnish as well, and it's raw. So it's nice to have fresh, raw vegetables to incorporate into a soup that's already hot. So you get that cooling and heating effect because you don't want to have so much heat. Unless you are feeling ill, you want to stay more on the heating type foods like broths and soups like this. Because when you're, when you're having a cold, you don't want to eat cold foods. Like if you're sick, you're not going to have a salad, right? So, back to the soup. I'm going to start. Now this is super easy to make. All it is is cutting and putting it in the pot. I have this huge pot, cast iron. I'm going to put three tablespoons of one, two, and three, but I never really count. I just, I'm doing it for you guys because some people, you know, need to have that and I understand. So it's three tablespoons of olive oil, my onion, which is too small onion or a large onion. You can use red or you can use white is fine. Then I have two celery stalks. I'm putting that in. Nice to do is dice it. So the the onion doesn't need to be diced. It can be you cut basically you cut the onion on both sides a little bit and you make little half moons like very very thin. So that's what we're going to be doing with the onion. And it, sometimes it's good to know how I cut it because cutting it does have an effect on the taste and what's how basically on the taste and what's released from the, the vegetable itself or whatever you are cutting. And um, so I'm going to put that in. Now I have two cloves of garlic. Since this is a big soup, I don't shy away from garlic, okay? It's very medicinal. Some people can tolerate and some people can. I'm putting two cloves here. I have cut down on the garlic, I must say, because I used to put like five, six cloves of garlic and really make it super powerful. But being pitta, I really want to make kind of like not go overboard on such heating elements like the garlic. So you can use one garlic or you can use five. It's a matter of taste and your constitution and what you're dealing with. So I'm going to chop this up or I'm going to take my little doohickey here and squish them in, which is 
always easy er to do. And put the other one in here. And basically what I'm gonna do after this and just is saute it. And I'm gonna cut that part off is I'm gonna saute this. And I want to get every little bit of my food. I never like to waste anything in my kitchen. It's just precious and sacred food. So I'm putting that on my stove and I'm going to turn it on to medium low heat. And that's basically my rule for sauteing. I've never taken a cooking class before and I've never watched necessarily a cooking show on that. This is just how I, my rule is you saute medium to low. Maybe that's the, the way it is in general. I don't know. <laughs> so, um, so I'm going to saute that and I'm going to add salt some pepper, some chili flakes to give it a little bit of a kick. Or you can use, you know, cayenne pepper or jalapeno, whatever type of kick you want to give it. Put it in there right now. And then um, I'm going to put one teaspoon of cumin powder. And I'm going to take that right now. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. Okay, so I have one teaspoon of this. Okay, then of course my turmeric, which I'm going to put powdered. You can put fresh, totally. Um, so I'm going to put one teaspoon of cumin, uh, turmeric, and then I'm going to put some flakes in there just to give it a little kick. I always like to add a little kick in the winter because since the winter is cold and dry and you want to get that, that heat action going, the, the sweating action going. And that's it. So put that in, saute that till, till you get a little bit of a mush. You can put in your, um, your red pepper and you're going to saute that two or three minutes. Now, as you see here, I have a bag of corn and a bag of green peas under this, organic that are frozen. Unfortunately, the corn season is over, but maybe wherever you are in the world, you can get fresh corn, and that would be absolutely essential to use that. No, Molly, she smells the fish, which I had to put in the refrigerator because this would be impossible. Um, so I'm thawing it out. You always want to make sure that anything that you take out of the freezer that's frozen you want to make sure that it's thawed out because putting cooks, like frozen things and then heating them up right away, it's a real shock to the food and it, it's, it's really not good energetically to do that to the food. So basically what I'm going to do once that's ready, after two or three minutes, I'm going to throw in the fish. Now, I'm not taking it out, just imagine I'm taking the fish out, it's cod, fresh, wild caught, and I'm cubing it up, putting it in there, and filling it up almost to the brim with water. Then, I'm going to bring that to a boil. Once that's boiled, I'm going to put the peas in the corn. Stir it up, obviously, you're going to stir it up occasionally. Lower the heat, because once you bring it to the boil, you're going to lower the heat. And, and put it on a simmer. Then, you're 
you're going to cook that for a, a good solid hour on on a low, not yeah, a lower a lower highish type heat if that makes any sense. And you can add a, a one cup of quinoa to give it a little bit more consistency and you know hardiness, and that's what I'm going to do. And you. When I said you can add it, is you can add the quinoa or you can add basmati rice or jasmine rice. You want to add a little bit of starch to this meal at, so it becomes a, a good, solid, complete meal. That you can have a bowl, you're going to be full, and you're not going to want to snack because that's what we want to do is avoid getting hungry and snacking and going on this vicious circle of um, bad habits and cravings and things like that. So in the end, what we're going to do is put half, once the quinoa's in, so you're, what's happening here is it's done, the saute, we're throwing in the, the, the corn and the peas, we're throwing in the, the chopped cod, water up to the brim, then bring that to a boil, lower the heat, put in the quinoa, and then you're going to cook it for about an hour. The entire thing should be cooking at least an hour. And you're going to cover it after it's boiled, okay? So, and make sure you garnish with your cilantro, if you do not have cilantro, do parsley, but this this recipe calls for fresh herbs. And if you have a little bit of the red pepper left over, great. And you want to definitely squeeze some fresh lime juice, which is really a nice touch to it. And it gives that Latin flavor. So that's my soup. I can't wait to have it tonight. And cheers to you. This is my golden tea, as they call it. Mmm. Wicked good. It's like the golden milk, but it's golden tea. Anyway, that could be another video. So I hope you enjoyed. And I'm going to be throwing in my fish and stuff now. So unless you, I doubt you guys want to stay on the, um, watch me for an hour. So <laughs> see you later, guys.